Hi everybody, this is Muvit, the content management system for Adobe Muse. In our previous screencast, we uh, have registered in the Muvit system. Uh, we added our domain to the Muvit database. And now uh, we go to our website. Here it is, our future website. The design we created via Muse, Muse via Adobe Muse. Uh, the widgets are not working now. We will work with them later. Uh, and now our task is to set our administration panel. We have installed the system to the hosting, and now we enter the system like that. Uh, after the domain name, we type slash. Muvit, enter. Uh, I was logged into the system already and you have not been, so you will see the window with the login and password fields, you need to enter them, and after that you will see the same field. And now you are here in the administration panel. Uh, it's an empty field and we need to install the instruments for our work here. Uh, in the down left corner you can see the Muvit button, we click it and we see the supplements icon. Here we can find the widgets we need for our work. What do we see here? We see the plugin icon, quick start, Taskbar, CSS, Editor, and the browser. Uh, the plugins are our plugins and widgets, pages, gallery, news generator, pages generator, uh, quick start. These are the instruments uh, for working with audio and video files. Taskbar is a language bar. Uh, CSS editor. Is understandable and the browser will let you see the result of your work in the system itself. Okay, now we will install the plugins for sure. The quick start. You will need the taskbar if you need any foreign languages apart from Russian. English, for instance. Now we will install it and see how it works. And we will install the CSS editor. The browser is optional. I don't think we need it now. You can install it and see how it works. Okay, we close this step and go back to the Muvit button. We can see all our supplements here, all our instruments here now. Let's start with, with um, the language customization. So we go to the taskbar, we install the languages, and you can see this icon in the right down corner. It will show us the language we work with now. So if we change the language like this, we change it to English, close the tabs, open them again, and we can see that everything is translated to English. Okay, wonderful. Let's go back to the Russian version now. We close all the pages and open them again. The taskbar will be written in Russian. Wonderful. Now let's let's see how the quick start works. We can see four icons here. The first one, the images. Uh, if you plan to work with images on your website, you will definitely need it. You install it. Click the install button, installation button. 
and you will see this small icon in the left corner. If you need the audio files on your website, you need to install this widget. And you can see that as we've done it, it appeared here. The files, PDF files, Excel files, and so on. And the last one, videos. If you need the videos on your website, you will need to install this widget. Now, we don't need it. We're going to talk about it later. OK, we are done with it. What do we do next? Uh, let's see what do these icons mean. The green basket and the red cross. The green basket is meant to delete the delete the files partly so delete it for some time so that we can bring them back afterwards if you want to delete all the images for example you click this green basket and if you want to bring them back you just click this blue crystal icon again and they are back you can see the images on your website again. If you want to delete them for good, forever, you need the red cross. Okay, understood. Now let's go to the plugins section. These are the plugins you're always going to work with in Ubit. Uh, you can see four of them now. Over time, we will create more plugins to satisfy all the needs of the developers. Okay. Let's install all of them. You can see them on the working field now. So right as we have said before, if you created the pages and and you need to delete them later, you just click the green basket and everything connected to this plugin is deleted. But if you want it back, you just click this blue crystal and all the work is back, all the data is back. But if you want to delete it for good, you click the red icon, the red cross, and it is deleted for good. Okay, so now we're done with uh, the installation of widgets and plugins. Okay, so the plugins are the interface of your future pages, news, and so on. These are the pages, for example. We go to our website, demo view it. And you can see all the data on the website, back on the website, like five minutes ago it was empty, but now we installed the widgets back and all the data is back on the website, the galleries, the news, the texts, and the DOM. Uh, let's see how do we download the widgets for these plugins. In the left down corner, we open, we open the menu And uh, under uh, these icons, you can see this blue crystal. This is the widget itself. What do we see here? We see that the files are downloaded 
We have a JavaScript and PHP file here. The JavaScript works with HTML. So you can just drag and drop it to the project. Or you give it the parameters needed and you just uh, export the website to FTP. This site works properly. It can be indexed. You can generate pages. But this technology is made by Ajax, so it's not really indexed properly with the Russian searching agents. So I would recommend you to use the PHP widget. It's absolutely similar, but the system is different. So you just drag and drop it. You just drag and drop it. But you should remember that after you connect it to FTP, after you exported the website to FTP, uh, you need to rename the files okay, we connect it to FTP again we need to rename the files to the PHP extension just rename them to the PHP extension so the widget will be able to work in the PHP extension and uh, the searching agents will index them easily. Okay, thank you for your attention. Develop with us. See you again. Bye.